No! I think it's gonna be fine. I'm not ugly, you're ugly. <laughs> yeah, oh no. I misjudged everything. Yeah, that range dude. That's, uh, yeah. See what I mean? He just hits me. Stop it. Stop it. I don't know why some of his blades are aggravated damage and some of others are not. Don't fully understand that. Oh, look at that. The guy that was here is not here anymore. Let's go up there. See if I can upgrade. Uh, you guys, you were dead. Yeah. See if I can upgrade any of my weapons. Got rid of these. And let's see. Still not good. I probably will have to buy the parts. But if I want to upgrade this one, yeah, I'm not getting good hand handle parts or good anything. So, hopefully we will get it soon. Can't say, but what what is going on? Who's talking that? Who's saying that? It's locked. I mean, somebody in here. Hmm. Seems like the guard of Prewen is on Shaw Hampton's trail too. That's pretty bad. No, I won't. It's the other way around. Nullified. What is that attack? I wonder. That one where he uh, pulls his fist. Yeah, he definitely gets hit from that. So he probably like defends or something. That's pretty bad. go just need a little bit of blood oh, no problem the end it got a little bit hectic because I mismanaged my stamina the wounds on this corpse are deep the result of rabid rage if this is Sean's doing he's become a murderous beast Really? That is unexpected, if that's the case. And look, we're behind that door, I think. Bad noises. Oh, because there's a blinker skull. Wait a minute, have we been back there? We might have. I mean, not now.
but we might have. Hmm. Okay. Are those skulls? Those are skulls. She's good news. There's a, a pre win guard. It's good because they don't shout at each other. Oh, dang it, I didn't mean to do that. I mean, it's it's free... It's free blood, I suppose. Oh, I got... I got you! It's fine, it's fine. It's free blood. It's side... side dodges. Oh, you got me there. Good for you. Stop it, stop it. There you go. And now, no aggravated damage. Queenie in a land letter. Nice. And watery rich blood sample. Okay. So these Brewin guards, they're everywhere, naturally. But... This poor man has just been slaughtered by a vampire. The body's still there. Easy does it, boys. <laughs> Did I kill them both? I think I did. Mm-hmm. That's a grenade. Yep. So it was just eaten by a vampire. And these guys were fighting Skull. Ow, ow, ow. Don't set me on fire. Oh, you stopped. Okay. That's definitely a solution. I really like this uh, this blood thing. I do have a, another alternative weapon that gives me, I think, even more blood than this uh, hatchet. But it doesn't do as much damage, so... Stop it. The moment that the guy takes his uh, super knife out, just have to keep pushing. Oh, he stopped. Man, their AI should not do that. Leashing is never a thing that you want in your video game. Why do they do it like that? They don't need to program the AI in in uh, in nodes, because you know there's there's an old school way of programming AIs that is based on location primarily, because it's just easier for pathfinding. For pathfinding is a a nightmare in AI. <laughs> That's the, the thing about AI is, pathfinding, is doing pathfinding. But they don't need to do that anymore. We have we have ways of doing it, I think, maybe? I don't know. Oh, what a nasty one. What a nasty one. You're a blinker, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Because of the eyes. You can see it in their eyes. Good. They're they're really scary. <laughs> Shiny eyes. They're really scary. I wonder I wonder where the uh the sort of trope of shiny eyes comes from. Cuz obviously animals oh. I cannot enter. Cuz only obviously animals have uh reflective eyes. Some animals do. Uh, that um, that you'll be able to see if you have like a torch or or a car. But in medieval, like in olden times, how would that work? Maybe them. Maybe you have if you have a fireplace. Oh yeah, you're at a fireplace in the middle of the forest. You definitely see the re uh, reflection of eyes in the forest. And that that's easy enough. Anything will will anything basically anything with low light low light vision will reflect, including spiders. Did you know? Spiders will reflect light. Some spiders, not all spiders. There's some spiders that work off of uh, infrared things. So where are we?
excuse me. Please, sir. Can't let you through. Can't let me through. Immediately shoots me. This is the kind of policing we have, is it? I suppose. That was perfectly timed. I didn't even try it. This looks very familiar, though. Ooh, four screws. But it isn't. It looks familiar, but it isn't. Ooh. Juicy. Oh. Juicy screw. But no, more importantly, this. What is that? Cake land? Unfortunately, it isn't. It is a lake land. What do we have back here? More houses. Just loot for days. Is what we have. I mean, can't complain. I think there's some people outside. I'm looking at the loot here. Excuse me. Hey. Sir, steady Stop it. Stop it. You dealt decorated damage. That sucks. Stop it. We did it. We did it. Oh. I think this connects to the other road. So let's go back inside and go the other way. Oh, crap. There's another road here. As well as this house. Ooh. We got a spring, and it's just... Oh, also bullet. I don't know why we got them separated. They clearly fit in the same place. And we got some tartrate. Ferris. Okay. Oh, I see treasure. And there's the lower area. Oh, yeah, this is the other entrance. So is this the main road, I wonder? Yes. Whoa, these guys are everywhere. kind of funny that they don't see me as a vampire, even though I'm clearly being super vampire-y. <laughs> With these dashes. Guard of Prewin Note. October 27th. From Guard of Prewin Command Post, Dock Patrols, Vampire Hunter fought a void. Some of our scouts recently spotted the presence of a certain Ichabod, Throgmorton, near the East End docks. You'll probably see him patrolling the place at night, claiming that he's a specialist in vamp or vampire extermination. The man is a fraud, not even a real con man, for he does not charge anything for the work, but he clearly has no clue what he's talking about. If he ever approaches you for some joined hunt over collaboration, refuse and let him go. In a leech fight, the man is nothing more than bait. And apparently... Ichabod is not considered a real vampire hunter by the guard of Prewan. And we have proof of it. Which we might be able to use on him. And by on him, I mean I'll show it to him. And he'll, get, he'll be like, how dare they say these things about me. They, they're, they're bad. And th it's true. It is going to be true. They are indeed bad. Night shelter's vicinity. What? Well, I'm not even there yet. It says keep out, but there's no entrance. What could that mean? Night shelter vicinity. It's kind of interesting, because vicinity... Um, can... does mean neighborhood. But they don't use that term. Yes. Look at me. Ow! There you go. 
Don't touch me. Stop it. That is not even aggravated damage. You are pathetic. You're more pathetic than the bad con man that the other one dude is. Okay. Is Does this go to vicinity as well? No. Well, this one does. There's bread in here. Look at the size of that bread. And just things for us. And money. Yeah, this is a bakery. Wow, that bread looks tasty. I wonder if it's sugary. Is this like somebody's house? The door has been unlocked. I think I know where that goes. It's the other gate that I didn't go into. Got corner rivers. We have rings. We have a bed with portraits. Rich people live here. Naturally, if they have portraits. Although, admittedly, poor people can also have portraits. I have this thirst for blood. I don't know why there's a red marker over here. Oh, it's for rats, most likely. So that I know that there's rats in here. Oh, look at that. And I can't dodge. Which means that this is a friendly area. Yep. Yeah. It is indeed. There's a blinker over there. Oh, that's the blinker that we heard. Ow. There we go. Yeah, this is the blinker that we saw when we got in. Because this is the... This is the other door. And this looks very much like a haven. It is not. There's dead people here, though. So maybe friendly isn't the word. Populated, potentially. Just loot. All over. And maybe populated isn't even the word, either. No, I hear people. You know, because everybody's dead, so... Populated doesn't quite apply. There's just a lot of money. I know I've got something that'll strike your fancy. Oh, traders. I'll find you something. I don't know who you're talking to, but I'm sure you're right. I'm sure you'll find me something. So back here we are where we Western docks oh this is that other gate right um, okay that's pretty good so all I have to do now is go into the vicinity although I didn't explore back here for good reason I didn't come back here. Join the ranks for king and country. Hmm. I don't see anybody yet. Another door unlocked. I know exactly where this one is as well. And this is what I saw from in there. Anti-vampire poster. Danger is closer than you think. They are already here. Do not let them take the kingdom. See a vampire? Seek for help. Ichabod Throgmorton, expert vampire hunter. Oh, there we go. And... What is that? origin of the skulls it has been established for some time now that skull is the vernacular name of a different species of lesser blood drinkers a skull often 
seems to be the victim of a vampire attack who miraculously survived death and came back as a crooked version of its maker. According to many observations made by our order throughout the centuries, skulls are generally despised and killed by vampires who consider them lesser and despicable creatures. The name itself means slave. They also have been called Sakaliba in Arabic and Sklavus in Latin, which is another word for slave, uh, or Sklavinoi in Greek. This shows how old these creatures are and how their maker makers perceive them. This may be why skulls often tend to form small and discrete communities that stick together. It is also interesting to note that skulls seem to call themselves this way, if as if they have accepted for a long time their status as inferior servants among vampires. It is more difficult for a skull to hide its monstrous nature, pale skin, terrible teeth, strange emaciation, dilated and staring pupils. Many have lost all hair, and they show wounds and scars, which stay open without never completely healing. They also seem capable of surviving by eating the flesh of the dead, while vampires need blood from the living. They may be the real origin of the mythical figure of the ghoul, the, f the folklore creature who lurks... It's the creature, so it's the who lurks in cemeteries and feeds from the dead. A skull is a miserable creature. Most of the times, they fear to be seen by both humans and vampires. In some regions, older skulls have been witnessed nearby vampires as servants or slaves, obtaining protection by sacrificing their freedom. Most of the skulls are descended from Ekans and show humanoid silhouettes much more uncommon. Some present, um, some present a more canine aspect and behave like wolves. They are sometimes called vulpes in ancient texts, which just means wolf. At least a third type exists in the shape of a bird or of bat, and they are called corvus, which means um, crow. William Marshall himself referred three times to some bat-shaped creatures he called vampire in his memoirs. Other types may exist unknown or unidentified for now. And this is from Drinking at the Fountain of Knowledge by Usher or something or other. Mm hmm. Indeed. Oh, I just opened this. I don't need it. So we are at the Western Docks. Are there perchance... This is the West End. This would be here. I probably will be able to do this now. Uh, but that's not what I was looking for. Burn all posters. Hmm, I wonder what I'll do with this. It's kind of an interesting thing. And I want to do this. They're actually kind of close by. This We have had this quest for a while. Oh, this means that this is where they live. Excuse me. You guys got medical equipment here? Let me take all of it. I didn't ask it as, a, as if I were interested in taking it. I will take it because it's there. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. May I have your attention for a minute? Good evening, sir. My name is Giselle Paxton, but I don't have time for men like you. Have we met before? No, but I just need to look at your fancy clothes to know that you must be desperate to visit the docks at night. That's quite judgmental of you. Sir, I've led enough strikes when I had a job to identify you as an enemy of the working class. Hmm. May I ask what you do for a living? I'm killing myself scraping for a living. And you? Have you ever had to struggle in your entire life? As I told you, I'm a doctor. You have to work a lot to earn that title. Oh, a doctor. Hmm, born with money in a nice house, were we? Was Daddy a banker or a doctor himself? Why such hatred? Are you judging me by my clothes and my job? Of course I am. Fuck, you're so blind. You don't even see your privilege. Lazy people like you disgust me. I have to kill a lot of things. It's very difficult. What can you tell me about this vicinity? Tell you what, just spend a few weeks here and then ask me that question again. If you're still alive, I mean. If you have something to say, say it. I'm getting tired of all this. Oh, you want information instead? Well, here's some for you. Giselle Paxton does not like you at all, Doctor. She's Giselle Paxton, by the way. And I didn't unlock a... 
How did I not unlock a hint? That should have been a hint. That would have been hilarious and correct. You don't know me, Miss Paxton, and yet you see me as an enemy. Oh, your manners, your clothes, your words tell me everything about you, sir. I know your kind, and you don't belong here. Hmm. It's kind of interesting to say I fight poverty. There is a sort of... Um, there's a very specific angle that he could go for. I don't know if he's going with that. Uh, so I, and I don't trust him to, to say the things I, I want him to say. Um, there's a specific angle where he could be like, I help people for no money whatsoever. But I don't know if he's going to say that. So You're right, Miss Paxton. My clothes and my manners do speak for me. And I may not belong here, but that doesn't make me a bad person. You tell me, Dr. Reed. You tell me. You speak of strikes and class enemy. Am I right to assume you're involved in trade union activism? You bet I am. Well, I was. Nowadays, I'm just another worker blacklisted by the big companies. You lost your job because of your beliefs. Those bastards really hate a worker who refuses slave wages and unsafe conditions, especially when it's a woman. Isn't the whole point of trade unions to help workers in need? Why don't they support you? A few nights back, I lost the money my companions had asked me to hide. With me and my sister being penniless, they thought I stole it. What really happened? I drank too much that night. Strange men saw me count the money in that bar. Some sort of militia in uniform. I'm sure they robbed me. Oh, it's the pre one. Giselle has lost the money of the trade union she belongs to. Yeah, they, they, that would get her in hot water. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? What is it you want? Does he owe you money? Has he displeased your royal highness? I'm no snitch, Mr. Fancy Pants. Fair enough. Well, I'll leave you for now. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. And she is not sick. That's good. Because I, I don't think I would have had money. There's no investigations here. Oh, they're all here. They're, oh, she's here in the docks. Okay. So let's do this one instead. Yeah. Let's track that. It's actually kind of far away. Let's do it right away. I want to leave the... The meeting people... For later, because I can. And that way we focus on the side quests. Which is always good. And all the loot. There's very much a dead end in here. Or is it? Oh yeah, that's where I was. Huh. Like a little bit of money. 